We're live. I think. Oh, Miss. Hi, baby. Moon. No. Can it. we put? Are we still behind on coasters? Uh, yes. What is up, you guys? I have greasy hair. Don't care. We've been doing class stuff all morning, and I want to make sure that um, I get a live video in today. So I'm just doing a really quick one before we break down our classroom situation and reset it for tomorrow and also get something to eat because I haven't eaten anything today. Lies. I had half a donut this morning. So. It's going to be a quick one. It's gonna be a quick one. I do have the greasiest hair ever invented by all the hair grease gods and, oh, I have the new, I have those new um, bees. They just came in, they're by Lumaire. they're the exciter pack and I don't know if that means something or if it's just because it's exciting, don't know. Um, we, Kayla, we taught a class today on resin the, our December classes this weekend, so they're stuck. I was ready for them to just, but they didn't. Just like a, a little bit of sticky. Oh yeah, gum. A little something, it's something gum, on there. Spirit gum. Spirit gum. No, well, I wouldn't say spirit gum, but it's like rubber cement. Yeah, rubber cement. Yeah. Julie, girl, I go like four days without washing my hair on the regular. That's not even like every once in a while you should do that. Kayla, I believe that. So I'm gonna be excited for a minute because all of these are like iridescent-y. Like this one is halo violet gold and it's got like purple with gold shimmer in it. Halo blue gold, which looks nothing like blue or gold. It looks more like a mermaidy turquoise. Pink gold flies. What is this? This is fun. Pearlescent turquoise. So I have a lot of options here. Pewter. Mm, I don't think so. So I'm going to mix some of these sparkle sparkles with some... Um, not sparkle sparkles and we'll see if we can make something amazing. I thought this said militia black, but it says mantilla. I don't know. Yes, they are alcohol eats. That's super black. Um, Lucy Amulan, we did get in on the <gasps> beat, will you give me the alcohol? Uh, we did get your packages and I have used almost all of them already. No joke. We've gone through it with, um, Lars says I'm a Chick-fil-A, what you want? You did? You don't think these are alcohol ink though? What do they do? I bought them under alcohol ink. <gasps> They're not alcohol ink. They're just inks. I don't know why they like came up with the other alcohol inks. To set color on fabric, let dry 24 hours, then iron. <laughs> Y'all. Did somebody just say, that's not alcohol ink? Yes. I'll try it. Never know. They are acrylic. Um, Libby, I'm gonna test that. All right. Well. Right, Kayla. Where's all your alcohol? So I am gonna try them though. Oh, Andrea said they are alcohol-based inks. I don't know. We're gonna try them either way. Even though on here it says light body metallic acrylic, I don't know why I didn't read that before. Got all my hopes up. Nothing. So I'm going to say whatever and still use them because I do what I want. All right. So 
something's leaking in there. I know. I have no idea. So. <gasps> Um, senior helper is at AM. I'm going to uh, apparently miss Bouvier. It is some kind of something for fabric, but I'm going to try it anyways. Happy Saturday. Miss Bouvier. I would love it if somebody came up to me and they were like, excuse me, uh, Mr. Thornton, you have a call from one Miss Bouvier? I'd be like, I gotta take this, guys. This I, is, I this very, is very high end, very important. So tell them what happened when, you, when somebody was in Rochester, New Hampshire. So Andrea sent me a message a little while ago and was like, I was in Home Depot and I had on your ATD hoodie and they were like, I love Erica and Jeff. How random. Someone absolutely out of the blue. I feel like that's amazing. So. Very amazing. I'm going to try it anyways. I prepped this as I do all of my alcoholing fours, even though these rims are kind of a little textured. Um, we're going to try it anyways because yellow. So I'm going to try a couple of these colors and I'm going to try a couple of regular alcohol ink colors and the blender and some alcohol regular. And we're going to see if we can make it work because, you know, sometimes... The best things happen from random. Is that? I wonder if there's like a ball in here I should be hearing. Shh. This is thick. I was waiting on him to say it too. Well, they didn't come up to me. They came up to Andrea. Bananas. So after squeezing this out, it is quite apparent that this is an amazing, really thick paint. Oh, thanks Rusty. So while this is gorgeous, I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot anyways, because what is life without some experiments? Test it on something else first. Okay. So I'm just gonna leave it on here. Yeah, I thought about. Ooh, it's chunky. It's what? It's chunking up. It's chunking? Oh, because of alcohol? Yeah. It's leaving little tadpoles, so scratch this idea. I'm gonna try it. Um, I believe I can mix this into resin, so all, not all hope is lost. I will try these with resin and see what I can come up with. So, this color, this color. Let's do some black. Let's do some green. Let's do some, what else do I have up here? Magenta, Magneta. We got our colors good to go. I don't know about thinning it with water. Um, we're good right now, Lucy Amy Lynn, but I will definitely 100% for sure let you know. So, got some colors. Here's some alcohol. You know what? I'm gonna use this. Just oh! went too hard in the paint. Literally. Quite literal, a little. Literally. Literal. Is that what that guy said? Literally? Uh, no. Oh, etc. That's right. So I have quite a lot of, um, I almost said liquid alcohol, like there's other forms. It's not. So I have a lot of it on here. Um, we're going to see what, what goes on. I'll see if this sets up any kind of cute way and we'll we'll figure it out together as a fam because that's what fans do listen don't stifle my artistic amazingness now 
gonna say, just as you're irritating me, just lay too much ink on your pad. <gasps> this is gonna be one of the most amazing pieces you've ever mm -hmm. seen. Put some blender in there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna squirt you with the blender. And some gold because what is art without gold? Hi, T. Look at that. Mm. I need to breathe level this table. So I'm just going straight into heat on this because I like manipulated it with my face. Before you judge me over there, you just wait till I'm done with this. It's going to be one of the most amazing things you've ever seen. I believe it. It's because you have patience with that stuff. I just start blah. Blase, blase. Oh, thank you. No, I'm still waiting on more coasters. I, I do have packages in the lobby. I just haven't gone to pick them up yet. I'm hoping that they are coasters. We'll see. So I'm purposefully like pushing all of this ink off the side over here because I don't want it to pull in the middle. Okay, mm we have got all the colors. I'm not 100 about any of it, but I'm not giving up. B, what would you think happen if I set something like this on fire? I don't know. I wouldn't try it. You think it would just completely yeah. go up in smoke? I don't. I don't know. I don't. It would catch everything on fire that's right there, because that fire dips down. Do not do that. I'm not going to. I was just asking you. It does look like Easter. Every bit of this is says like Easter. Where am I? Easter. Where? Okay. I just hate how that gold only sinks where it is. I need to find a gold that will like... Oh, right. So I'm going to put a little bit more blending solution out here in hopes of picking up these dark spots. <gasps> What's up? It worked. Okay. So I'm going to drop. <gasps> I forgot I had black. I don't know how it'll work, but we'll put it, oh, that's a lot of drop. Yes, it's a lot of drop. Judy! Oh, Easter egg moon. 
That gold just like popped out. I know, it was just like, I'm here, I'm here now. I'm only right here. Sour cream, I am using mostly pinata inks. I thought I was going to lumiere it up. However, it was brought to my attention, thankfully by y'all, that it is not an alcohol ink. Yeah, this camera is more accurate. Texas. Do I get to paint those? Mm -hmm. I saw where you can sprinkle table salt, and I'll do a test on that for you. We can use some salt. I just want to do um, red, white, and blue on these. Okay. I don't. And maybe a blue and a silver on the other one, just okay. so we can sell them for cowboys in Texas. Will you get me a? You got like ten minutes left to experiment. Ten more minutes. Will you give me some salt? I saw that trick too, and I saw the bubble wrap and saran wrap. I just haven't gotten brave enough to try that, even though I know I lecture to y'all all the time about, just do it. So, I guess it's my turn to just do it, huh? Raw ruby. You got two different types of salt. Blue. Um, I think it has to be iodized. See, what? I should have specified. I know, you should have. It's gonna turn purple too. <laughs> what happened? I'm blowing it off so it doesn't turn purple. So how do you want it done? I'll use this for the salt experiment i just was just gonna do like kind of a put some red and kind of bl do that blend and then just put some blue and kind of blend it this way okay because the blue is on this side and the red is on the bottom oh like the flag yeah, yeah. you didn't tell me that i should have known because texas flag but i was just trying to hurry up and get my art on Yeah. I forgot we even had these little guys. So what do you do with the salt? You put the salt down and then... It creates like a speckly, crackle texture. Because it soaks it up? I'm not sure why it works. I just know that it does. See, uh, now I'm gonna do this one. You don't like how I did it? Um... Yes, raw is an ice color. And now you have to go get it because it worked out. Sour cream, I just worry because it um, got chunky, but I will, I'll do a test. So what do we gotta do? Let's put some color down and then just sprinkle the salt on it, I guess. Do I put fire on it or heat it up after putting salt? Holly, 
I have, and I haven't found one that I love. I I will I'll do a full review on them for sure. I don't know what to do with that. Do I put heat on it now? Like. They're starting to pop or blow off. I don't know what's happening. What happened? They're just blowing off. Oh, just let it dry. Oops. It didn't. Maybe low heat. Did it pop, lock, and drop? Oh. A little space scene. I know. We gave little swirly doos. Swirly doohickeys. Now I glitter. Okay, last experiment for me. And then Jeff's gonna do one, and then we're gonna go eat something. Do I have anything, anything all day? Will you hand me my ultra glitter? Say so one of the who? The ultra glitter. This should be right there. It's right there. Ah, thank you. All right, y'all. From experimenting, we have discovered that it is best practice Just make to make sure all of this is out of the way because this, if any fire kind of goes up, it will it will catch all of that on fire. Here's your brick. Here's your brick. Oh. It's right here. That one's uneven. <clears throat> About to get really real. <gasps> Colors. I need a color. Let's do. Sorry, guys. Let's move this little guy. Mm -mm. put some glitter into this little cup and then put one of my colors in it yeah. and some alcohol yeah. and I'm gonna just apply it to here. Oh my god. Look at that. You guys. Oh my gosh. I think the Santa Bar crawl is happening right now. I don't want to catch this one on fire because I don't know how the glitter handles being in fuego. kind of sits there. I think you did, you lit it on fire with that, with the purple one. Did I fire the purple one? Look at that, it just kind of sits there. <laughs> Find a resin over. Wow. Okay. That's different. I'm sorry, I know that I said that was the last one, but I didn't set it on fire. Real quick. Okay, be careful. Okay. Y'all don't rush when you're working with this because then that's when accidents happen. No. Sorry, I just want to dry this stuff up. It will flame up quick. Oh, 
Oh my god, I forgot y'all were even on there maybe talking to me. I think we're adopting somebody. Well, we Buy are. Buy a Pomeranian. Somebody, something about buying a Pomeranian. God, that looks so good. Thanks, B. Okay, in fuego. That does nothing to that can right there. Maybe try to blow it around. It's burning off. It's not doing anything to the, the um. It's fun. It looks the same. A little more intense though. See, it always goes under. Man, I made the mistake of not knowing there was a flame underneath. Mm -hmm. And I sprayed alcohol and it just goes. <laughs> The glitter is... It's so sick. Okay, no. All it says is Hemway Holographic. It doesn't tell me whether it's a poly or not, but I believe it it's is. It's gonna be hot. It is. So... I wish there was like sunlight coming in here. It's catching on the camera. Oh, there you go. Where's this? Yeah. That's good. And it stays pretty well. well last time, and then we're going to go. Hi, Maria. Erica's Spanish is getting better. Olay! All right, so what I'm going to try to do I'm working on glittering the world, y'all. Don't even. I'm here for the glitter. Try it home as long as you have adult supervision. Right, Julie? Isn't it the most brilliant glitter of Earth? Of Earth? Mm-hmm. Are you going to set it in fuego? Or no fuego. No fuego. Jen, I accept any and all alcohol links. What you guys see is like it. I have basic colors and I'm not mad about it, but I will accept any that you don't use anymore. Andrea, it's by Hemway. It's Ultra Sparkle. It's in my Amazon link down in the description. Jen, you're too sweet. Are you guys closing down for a spell at Christmas? We're going... Um, to my parents' house for actual Christmas, but I'm going to see what days Austin can be here to ship for me while we're gone. That wasn't supposed to go up there. That's what she said. Mm. Damn it. I don't want that right there. Put some alcohol on the rag and wipe it up. I just don't want that to turn purple, which I know it will. But that'll be fun. It's a nice little gradient. Um, the Texas is actually masonite that we prepped like we do the boards with um, 
Oh, that's teal. That's not blue. Gesso. The blue's right there. Son of a bitch. Well, there you go. I promise to do an actual resin piece tomorrow. I know, it's very sweet of you, Jen. You rock my socks off. Merca. That's Merca, Texas. That's how I pictured it, right there. Right there. Hey girl. So you're getting better and better at your alcohol ink control. Control. That was for you, Andrea. Y'all, I'm super proud. One of my big rounds that we did recently sold at the class today. Texas. <laughs> Now just paint a That's star fun. right here in gold. No, it would be... Where the Dallas is. Oh, the Dallas is right there. White? I'm just going to do a little oh. drop. Yes, Sulu, you would need to either seal them in with like a spray varnish that is not alcohol based because that will eat up your design or do a resin. We will do resin. Unless we decide to do like a matte finish on one of them, then in that case we'll just we'll do a spray varnish and then seal it in. <laughs> um, the gold is gone. We went bye bye. I would put a blender dot on there too, because you're gonna get too much separation. Okay. Julie, I think it's Elena, but I could be super wrong. Deep in the heart of Tejas. That's fine. I wanted that red right there, so I think it'll be okay. You're about to do some shit you don't want to do. What? Trying to get a little bit more white, babe. Why didn't you? Why did you just tell me to do that? Um, I believe <laughs> I just said to don't. Well, that's why I have other ones. Uh huh. Drop some more on well, it. Just make that, it do again. That paint is. I trashed it. That paint's came out. All right, I'm done. It's not my day. Uh, you banged out a pretty good piece of the class. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Oh yeah, I forgot about my spritzel. This is just um, gold mica in alcohol, 91%-ish. So, basically, Christy, we're just hella hungry, and we had an amazing class, and I sold a piece of artwork, which, as y'all know, like, makes everybody's day better, and Rosemary, we're about to start carrying glitter from Just Resin, who has a brilliant new glitter line. I can't wait to try it. Ah! 
It's going to be amazing. I haven't even seen it in person, but I saw a video. So basically that's in person. Not really. Anyways, we have to run because hangry is not a good way to live life. I hope that you guys, um, hi Trudy. Hope you guys like follow us on social medias and send us emails and things. Anybody else's hands look like this all the time? Probably not just me. Jen, I just hope you can come down one day. It would be bananas. I'm sure everybody would love to see you come paint. Don't get hyped. Do you want to come say hi to the peoples? So, for y'all that don't know, this is Moo Pup. He's the bestest one. No, are you the cutest baby? You are. No, look, you look good. Thank you. That sucks, Jen. Sour cream, thank you. Jeff's changing clothes, but he said thank you. So, um, follow us on all the things, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Go live during the class tomorrow. Go live during the class? Maybe we'll go live during the class. That would be awesome. I just have to check and make sure with everybody that's in the class that um, it's okay. So, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys tomorrow, 8 p.m., or sooner if we do the live during the class and we go live at 8 p.m. on Sunday. Like we're always like random. Yeah, Sunday is kind of random, isn't it? Anyways, I cannot thank you guys enough for tuning in and seeing what we're up to today. Sorry it's such a short video, but y'all if I don't eat something, I'm gonna eat this brick right here. Um check out the links below for all the discount codes for all the products that we use. And I will see y'all manana. Ah. I said bye. You said bye.